Hello developers, welcome to the channel. In this lesson, we're gonna learn about Vue.js. So if you are watching this video, I assume you have basic knowledge of Vue.js. If you don't know about Vue.js, then I recommend you to watch the previous series on Vue.js basics and Vue.js components. Now in this lesson, we're gonna learn about what is Vue.js, why we need Vue.js in the Vue.js project, and all the basic concepts of Vue.js. So let's start. So the first question is, what is Vue.js? Vue.js is the official state management library for Vue.js. Its job is to share data across the component of your application. Vue.js works as a centralized storage of data for the whole application. So why we need Vue.js in the Vue.js project? Let's try to understand it by an example. Let's say this is the parent component and these are the child components. Now in Vue.js, every component has its own data. Using PROS, we can pass data from parent component to child component and so on. And when you need to pass data from child component to parent component, in that case, you will use event. And what if you have to pass data from this component to this component? For that, Vue provides us event bus. For smaller projects, it is okay, it is maintainable. But as application grows, the code base of the project will become more complex and very difficult to understand, so it will be very difficult to maintain. To solve this problem, state management is introduced. And this official Vuex library helps us to implement state management with ease. Now in Vuex, we have single storage of data and it is shared with every component. And when component updates data in store, it is immediately shared with the other components. And that makes the code base more easy because now we do not have headache to share data among components using props or event. Now if you compare Vue.js instance and the Vuex instance, both have some similarities. Let's see this side by side. In Vue.js, we initialize Vue instance like this, new Vue. And in Vuex, we initialize new Vuex.store. In Vue.js, we have data and in Vuex we have state and both are reactive. In Vue.js we have methods for business logic and Vuex we have actions for business logic. In Vue.js we have computed property and that computed property can access this data and in Vuex we have getters and that getters can access this state and in Vuex we have one more property that is mutation. This mutation is the only recommended way to change the state in Vuex store. We can change the state directly but it is not recommended. The main reason of it is that mutations can track the changes in state, which is very useful for debugging purpose in the dev tool. Now let's see the life cycle of Vuex store. Let's say this is the our view component and this area is the Vuex store. The component dispatch an action or calls an action and that action is responsible for the business logic and also communicate with the backend API. And if we need to change the data, it commits the mutation and that mutation tracks the changes and it also communicate with dev tool for debugging purpose and that mutation updates the value of the state. Because state is reactive, so it is rendered everywhere in the component. Now let's implement a Vuex store in the Vue.js application. So in the terminal, now here I'll create a fresh Vue.js project using Vue CLI. So Vue create Vuex tutorial. Here I'll use default settings. Now 
now our project is created so cd vx tutorial let's open this in the editor next we'll run npm run serve let's open this in the browser and this is the fresh installation of the Vue.js project now to implement Vuex, we need to install Vuex library so in the new terminal and here i'll run npm install Vuex. this will pull in the Vuex library into the uh, Vue.js application now vuex is installed so in the editor our next step is to create vuex store so here i'll create a new file store.js and here import view from view import vuex from vuex because this vuex is the plugin for this vue.js so here we need to say vue.use vuex and next we're gonna say export default new vuex dot store and here we pass the object and it has state getters mutations and actions next in the main.js here import store here in this view instance we register store now here I'll create an example of simple to-dos. So here I'll create to-dos list dot view. We'll get template div to-dos list. Now let's register this in the app component, which is the entry point of the application. Here I'll say import components to do's list and we're gonna register that here let's see remove this image also and here we'll say in h1 tag to do's and here i'll use to do list now let's see this in the browser so far everything is working next we're gonna create a single to do component so to do dot view div and to do and that to do component i will use here so here in port to do and here we'll register components to do next right here we use tag to do next we need a component for the input field so here i'll create another component to do form dot view view dip tag and here we'll say to do form and in the main app right here i'll use form component so here we'll say import components to do form and i'll register that right here next i'll use form right here to do form so far everything is working now we have three components to do's list to do form and to do and fourth this app dot view now in the store we will create a to do's state and this state will be shared among these all four components 
let's see this so first let's fetch this to do state in the to do list component so first let's add some to do item let's say here we have title to do item a completed false similarly one more to do item b and its status is also false now i'm gonna fetch this to do state in the to do's component we can access this component using dollar store object so we can say here v hyphen four to do in dollar store dot state dot to do's we need to bind a key let's bind this to an index so here we'll fetch to do's and index now let's see this in the browser and here we get two to do's item in the inspect tool in the view tab app to do's list and here you can see this to do two components rendered right here in the vuex tab here in the state we have two to do's item we can also create a computed property for this so so let's add a here computer property and here i'll say to do's and return and here we can access the store using this dot dollar store dot state dot to do's now instead of this we can use to do's and it works the exactly the same next we're gonna pass to do pro and this to do view component will accept props to do and here i'll print to do dot title now let's see this in the browser and here we get both results next here i'll add a input form to add new to do item so input type text and here we'll add button submit here we bind v hyphen model new to do item and it has data property that returns new to do item initially it is null and in the browser we got the input field next here we want on click this input field we want to add a new to do item in this to do state so here i'll say add click add new to do item so here i'll create a method here will add methods from here we can directly push this new to do item to this state but th this is not recommended instead of this we use a action and that action will commit a mutation and that mutation will update this to do item so here we'll say this dot dollar store dot dispatch and then the action name let's say action name is add new to do and then we pass the payload data which we want to add and that is this dot new to do item now we'll create this method in this action so here will say and it will accept commit and then payload data to do item so to change the data here we'll say commit new to do and here we pass the payload and this is the commit so here we create new commit and it will accept state and then payload that is to do item 
and next here we'll say state dot to do's dot push and then we pass title is this to do item and completed false now here you may notice that this commit new to do is in capital letter this is not a rule that you should create the mutations in the capital letter you can create in a small letter also if you want i i prefer to create in capital letter because it is easier to identify that this is a mutation now it's done let's see in the browser refresh and here we'll add new to do error uh, actually that is not here in the curly bracket it is like this now let's see this in the browser refresh one more time now here we'll add new to do hit enter and immediately it is reflected here we just forget to clear this so in the to do form here we'll say this dot new to do is equal to clear now new to do item immediately reflected here now in the vx tab right here you can track the mutation new to do and the payload is this and type is new to do item and it has pushed the data right here if you want to revert the changes from here you can remove this mutation and it will back to the previous stage we can add new item and it will track here which is very helpful for debugging next in the to do view here i'll add a button to delete to do item so here will say button delete and now click this we will execute delete to do method next we need to create a method for this methods and here we will dispatch an action so i will say this dollar store dot dispatch delete to do and here we will pass the payload this dot to do next i will create this action so in the store dot js here will say delete to do and here it will accept commit and payload to do item next we'll commit delete to do and then pass the payload to do item now i'll create mutation for this state to do item so to delete this to do item from here first we find the index in this to do item and then we will supply it from the array so here we'll say let index is equal to state dot to do's dot index of to do item and then we say state dot to do's dot supplies and pass index and delete one item now let's see this in the browser as we type here it is immediately removed from the list in the dev tool we got this delete to do mutation as we revert this we got the item back delete delete add new item and we can delete this list let's add a little bit styling and then we see the features so here let's say style width 250 margin 5 peaks and auto okay. style display flex and justify content space between now let's see this in the browser let's refresh this 
now it looks nice we can remove items we can add new items now let's add a strike through this if the to do item is completed so right here scoped now we'll say completed class and text decoration line through now here we'll add a span tag and here we'll say bind class completed if to do is completed it would wrap this in the curly bracket as the object now refresh for the moment both these to do's completed status is false so we cannot see any changes so here we add another action click event toggle to do status now we need to create a, a method again this dot dollar store dot dispatch toggle to do status and then we pass payload this dot to do now we'll create this action commit and then payload to do item commit toggle to do status and then pass to do now we'll create this mutation state and to do item now here we'll say to do item dot completed is equal to opposite of to do item dot completed status if the to do item is true then here it will change its status to false and if it is false then it will change its status to true now let's see this click here and you can see it is changing its status and you task change its status now we have seen actions mutations now we see the getters so in the app dot view let's see here we want to print in h3 completed and pending for that here we'll create getters so here we'll say completed to do's and it will accept state now here we'll say return state dot to do's dot filter to do and here we return to do dot completed is equal to equal to true it will return all the completed tasks and dot length will return the count of the completed task now right here we can access this like this dollar store dot getters dot this one completed to do's now let's see this right now we have zero completed click here now it's changed the status to now we have two completed tasks right here we can see it's all the mutations instead of this here we can create computed property computed to do's and we return this dot and all this here and we return this and here we'll print completed to do's computed property let's see this and it is working exactly the same similarly we will create pending to do's let's duplicate this so here we'll say pending to do's and instead of true here we return false now here we'll create another computer property this one pending to do's 
and here we print pending two. Right now here it is pending two and completed zero. As we change, immediately reflected both places. Add new task. Now here you can see it. Everything is synced. We have three pending, and this is synced right here. Completer two. As we change its status, it is immediately reflected here. On delete, it is reflected on the real time. Next, let's see map state, map getters, and map actions. So. So in the to do's list here we have created a computed property to fetch to do's item. Instead of this we can also create map state. So here we say import from vuex map state and here we remove this. Here we use spread operator and map state. Next we will pass which state we want to map here and that is this to do's. And here we pass like this, and it is work exactly the same. Similarly, we're gonna map getters. So here we'll say import from vuex map getters, and here we'll pass map getters in the computer property. Then we pass the getters which we want to here. First is the computer to do's, and second is the pending to do's, and we can now delete this. And we have used these right here. Let's see this. Here we got error. This error is because of the spell mistake right here. Now let's see. Refresh. Not is fixed and it's working the same. Now in the to do's dot view here we will map actions import from view x map actions and here it use spread operators again. We want to map these delete to do's and toggle to do status. Now we can remove both these methods and we can use these right here. Just one modification here we need. Right here we need to pass to do. And here also we need to pass the object to do. Now let's see if it is working and it is working the same. This delete to do name is from the action this one and this one the method which we want to use in this component if you want to name this action to something else like remove to do this will work and just we need to replace right here refresh and it is work exactly the same now here you can see we have four components to do to do form, to do list, and this fourth main root component app. And we are sharing this to do update with all four components. And it was very easy to implement with Vuex. So, in this lesson, we have covered the most of the basic concept of Vuex. In the next upcoming videos, we will create a simple shopping cart system in which we will load all the products in the store. And we can add products into the card, remove products into the card. Also, we learn the modules and namespace of Vuex. And we will also learn how we should structure the Vue.js store for the large application. So, if you are new to this channel, hit the red subscribe button and press bell icon so you could never miss our upcoming videos. See you in the next lesson.